video, I would like to share some tips about creating beautiful Notion pages to provide you with a great experience across devices. Notion features work really well across all devices if you make the right design choices when you set up your pages. Let's get started. While Notion provides you with a range of choices for different types of blocks like text and different database tables, you would need to adapt some of them to be practical. My aim is to take the guesswork out of designing your next Notion page for a better design experience. The flow of the video will be around how each of the blocks behave across each of the devices to create design decisions for each block. We will be looking at an ultra-wide monitor, the laptop, the tablet, and the mobile. In a sense, you will get to know which blocks to use and which ones to leave up based on how you want to use Notion. The devices I have used to capture the screens are my Samsung 34-inch ultra-wide, my 15-inch MacBook Pro, my 2020 iPad Pro, and my iPhone XS. I am using the dark mode on the desktop. That gives me a better contrast for viewing. The simplest block that we end up using quite a lot is long form. Long form has a few variations like plain, paragraphs, bullets and to-dos. I took a random paragraph and pasted this into an empty page inside of Notion. On a landscape computer screen, even though it occupies multiple blocks, it doesn't really prove very useful. On a wide screen, it looks even worse off with the lines looking very thinned out. But on contrast, if you look at the mobile versions, mobile and tablet, you will find that while mobile continues to be one mass of information, the tablet version starts to look a little more structured. You can readjust the width of the desktop and the computer versions, which immediately makes it eminently viewable. But the mobile will continue to show up poorly. Now let's change this by putting in some formatting for text, adding paragraphs, bullets and checkboxes. You can see that it starts to look much better on the desktop and the white screen, even though you can see a huge waste of space. Now let's look at the mobile and the tablet versions and you will notice that things are looking much much better now. Let's look at how things look inside of Notion when they are embedded. We will use YouTube, Google Maps, third-party apps like Indify to create the views. You will immediately notice that a full ultra-wide screen isn't the best way to look at a render. But the desktop and even more the mobile and the tablet versions look much better. Let's have a look at different types of columns. Text, bullets, drop-downs, pages and tables. You will notice that because of database tables, the ultra-wide view and the regular laptop view start to make a lot more sense. You will find that the columns are stacked one below the other on the mobile. On the tablet, it's shown sideways, but it does look a little better. But wider database tables will have to be scrolled sideways. And that is the same situation for the tablet as well as the mobile. So if there are too many columns, you will find yourself losing some context of each of the columns. So this method is good if you just have two or three columns on the tablet or on the mobile. I have a number of templates that I have created inside of Notion. I will use them as a reference to showcase how each one of them looks to draw inferences. Let's look at the engine room view inside of my ultimate GTD system. I use this to configure the database and can be referred to in case you specifically want to look at all the columns. You can see the importance of the horizontal screen real estate, especially in the ultra-wide view. You will start feeling lost as soon as you scroll vertically and horizontally as you really can't freeze the frames. And this applies for the tablet and even more so for the mobile. However, if you look at just a few columns, then it starts to work well even on the mobile in vertical orientation. Let's look at the latest view included by Notion, the timeline view. The timeline view looks really nice on a desktop and on the ultra wide view. And even on the tablet, it looks pretty neat. On the mobile view, in the vertical layout, it really doesn't work. 
And in the horizontal layer, it loses context if there are many tasks where the dates start to disappear. So for obvious reasons, Notion needs to do more in terms of laying out the information. A little better and test for simple bugs like these ones. I use the board view extensively for the project stages for my YouTube video. You can see here that the board views on the desktop, the ultrawide and the iPad look really good. On the mobile view, it doesn't look anywhere good, where the vertical view could just pass through, but the horizontal view is a complete miss. In my personal view, the calendar view has become one of my preferred views for a few reasons. It's a great view standalone on the desktop or on the ultrawide, where you can provide for a side-by-side -side with another database table. On the ultrawide, you can have multiple windows stacked up on the side to be working on different things simultaneously. The mobile view and the tablet views are pretty as well, and you just need to click on the date to get into the details. In a way, it's a different touch and feel to the desktop, but that's completely understandable. Initially, I didn't use the gallery view much, but when I started experimenting extensively while creating the Smart Money Manager, I loved the tile-based approach. It looks really nice on the desktop and even in the ultra-wide view. On the iPad, it's glorious and very functional even on the iPhone on a vertical view. So this made me look at this view in much closer detail as I build more templates for myself and for you guys. I'm possibly a culprit for not using this view enough. To illustrate, I'm just creating a simple database that acts like a shopping list. You can see that in the list view, the laptop doesn't do it enough justice, with a lot of screen real estate wasted. But this can be quickly readjusted so that you can fill the rest of the screen with other windows. On the iPad, it looks pretty okay, but it really shines through on the mobile. If you use the browser on the desktop, the experience is pretty similar to the views that I have highlighted. What I've done is summarize the entire thing on a PDF document. And this is how it looks. The link to get it for free is in the description below. You will also find links to all the templates that I have showcased in the video in the description if you want to pick them up from my website. If you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, do consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.